For many of us, bread is a daily staple since it's tasty, convenient, and versatile. Unfortunately, not all breads will return the favor, no matter how much you adore them. Greetings and welcome back to Bestie, viewers. It might be challenging to choose the best bread these days, with so many types filling grocery store shelves. Numerous loaves make the claim that they are healthy because they are high in fiber and whole grains. However, they actually covertly incorporate significant levels of processed wheat, sugar, and sodium. These will provide your body with zero nourishment. And then there are those that are abundant in minerals, vitamins, and fiber. Heck, to make them even healthier, they might even include nuts and seeds. We'll also inform you about the healthiest breads available in today's video. Learn about sourdough, flax, rye, oats, soda, and more by watching to the very end. 1. Bread from Ezekiel. Bread from Ezekiel. Among other breads, Ezekiel bread is unique in that it is produced from whole grains that have sprouted and contains no added sugar. The process of sprouting boosts the content of nutrients like lysine and folate as well as vitamin C. It becomes a true nutritional powerhouse as a result. Due to its ingredients list, which includes wheat, barley, beans, lentils, millet, and spelt, it is also a fantastic option for vegetarians. Upon sprouting and combining these six grains and legumes, a complete protein akin to that present in milk and eggs is produced. With all nine of the essential amino acids present, it is also of a high caliber. Furthermore, those who have sensitivity to grains due to grain protein can readily accept sprouted grains. They might also lessen your chance of developing heart problems, prevent fatty liver disease, and combat diabetes. Which would you prefer, buying healthy bread from the shop or baking it yourself? Tell us right away in the comments box below. 2. Bread made using sourdough. Sourdough bread, made with just four ingredients, flour, water, salt, and a starter culture. Sourdough is very nutritional and easier to digest. The secret to its flavor, texture, and health benefits lies in the starter and the lengthy fermentation process. Wild yeasts and lactic acid bacteria ferment a mixture of flour and water to create the starter. Because of this, the sourdough rises. The slow fermenting procedure used to make traditional sourdough increases the vitamins and minerals that are available in the bread. Moreover, this step initiates the breakdown of protein, which facilitates the digestion of sourdough. That being said, people with celiac disease should avoid consuming it if it is manufactured from a gluten grain. The fiber and plant chemicals known as polyphenols become more accessible during baking. Despite the fact that the healthy bacteria in the starter usually disappear during this time, sourdough is gut-friendly because these provide your gut microorganisms with a vital source of food. Moreover, it has less of an effect on blood sugar levels than many commercially manufactured breads. 3. Bread made only with whole wheat. Whole wheat bread made only. Whole grains contain the germ, endosperm, and bran all in one intact. The hard outer layer, called bran, has a lot of fiber. While the endosperm is mostly made up of starch, the bran and germ also include protein, fat, vitamins, minerals, and healthy plant components. Because whole wheat grains have more fiber than refined grains, which have had the bran and germ removed, they are regarded as being more nutrient-dense. Numerous health advantages of whole grains have been established, such as a lower risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and several malignancies. It's crucial to remember that many bread manufacturers call their products whole wheat to make them seem healthier, even when the majority of their ingredients are refined flour. Seek for breads that identify 100% whole wheat or whole grain flour as their primary ingredient and avoid hiding any extraneous ingredients, including vegetable oils or added sugars. 4. Bread without gluten. Bread without gluten. Grains like wheat, rye, or barley are not found in gluten-free bread. Rather, it is a blend of gluten-free flours such corn, tapioca, potato, almond, coconut, and brown rice flours. It is beneficial for those who must stay away from gluten, such as those who exhibit symptoms of celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. To make up for the removal of gluten, producers add additional ingredients to the bread to give it texture and chewiness. Thus, tapioca starch, gums, 
refined flours, and added sugars are frequently found in gluten-free bread. These may result in gastrointestinal problems, diarrhea, bloating, and gas. 5. Bread from Pumpernickel Pumpernickel bread. This bread is authentically German, with a thick texture and a unique flavor. Pumpernickel, which is made from whole grain rye flour, is rich in fiber, lignans, which are plant chemicals, and B vitamins that reduce stress. Traditionally produced with coarse whole grain rye flour and a sourdough starter, this bread has a low glycemic index and is high in resistant starch, which promotes intestinal health. Examine the labels as many commercial kinds contain yeast, molasses, and wheat flour. 6. Bread with Flax Whole grain flours and flax seeds are used in flax bread. It has omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial to heart health. It's a fantastic choice for vegans who need to include more heart-healthy fats in their diet. In addition, these super seeds include a considerable amount of protein, fiber, and antioxidants. Eating flaxseed bread and other flax foods may help with health problems related to digestion, according to one study. 7. Bread with Rye Rye bread, rye flour, derived from a plant that resembles wheat, is used to make rye bread. It is a thicker, heavier loaf than wheat because it has less fat and less gluten. It has a lot of lignans, which are plant components associated with several health advantages such as a lower incidence of osteoporosis, breast cancer, heart disease, and menopausal symptoms. It has also been demonstrated that whole grain rye bread lowers total cholesterol, enhances insulin sensitivity, and helps people lose weight. According to a study, those who ate rye bread for breakfast felt less hungry and less of a desire to eat eight hours later than those who ate wheat bread. 8. Bread with many grains. Multigrain bread. Whole grain and multigrain breads differ from one another, much as whole wheat and whole grain breads do. Whole grain refers to a product or bread that is made using the entire grain kernel, including the germ, endosperm, and bran. Foods labeled as multigrain, such as bread made with 7 or 12 grains, have more than one kind of grain, albeit they may not all be whole grains. Select whole grain bread that is multigrain. 9. Bread with oats. Bread with oats. Oat bread is among the newest varieties available in grocery stores. The main ingredients of this recipe are whole wheat flour and oats. You can definitely transform your favorite breakfast item into bread if cauliflower can be turned into a pizza. The best part is that consuming oatmeal already has several health advantages. Nutrients including iron, zinc, and magnesium are abundant in oats. Furthermore, the high fiber content could aid in lowering blood pressure and cholesterol. You guessed it, oats are the main ingredient that makes oat bread so healthful. They also offer a plethora of additional health advantages. Watch the video, 14 Important Health Benefits of Oats that will surprise you, to find out more about what they are. Back to the healthy bread you ought to consume on a daily basis. 10. Soft Drink Bread Soda bread. This is a basic Irish staple consisting of flour, buttermilk, baking powder, and salt. This is a low-fat, yeast-free loaf that comes together quickly. It's the perfect loaf to bake at home whether you're a novice baker or don't have much time. Spelt bread. Spelt is a traditional wheat variety from the Middle East. 11. Speckled bread. Its reduced gluten content has recently made it more well-liked on the healthy eating scene. Due to its dense structure and distinctive nutty flavor, spelt bread helps prolong feelings of fullness. When selecting a nutritious bread, what qualities should you look for? Select bread baked with whole grain flour that hasn't been refined. Because labels can be misleading. Just because your loaf is labeled multigrain, 100% wheat, or organic doesn't mean that it is whole grain. To be sure of this, always refer to the ingredient list. Choose a bread that requires few ingredients. The length of the ingredient list provides a wealth of information regarding the manufacturing procedures and baking technique. Simply put, steer clear of breads that have additional sugars or vegetable oils and search for the ingredient list that is the smallest and has names you recognize. Make use of your loaf and be aware of your surroundings. Right now, sourdough is really popular, but there are a few things to watch out for if you don't create your own or purchase from an artisan baker. In certain cases, 
Bread might be marketed as sourdough even though it wasn't produced with the crucial slow fermentation technique. Yeast, ascorbic acid, vinegar, and yogurt are some of the substances used in certain bread to replicate the flavor of sourdough, expedite manufacture, and increase shelf life. Examine labels and stay away from these substances if you want to experience the health advantages of a real sourdough. Naturally, making your own bread allows you to control the exact method and components utilized in its creation, making it one of the healthiest options for bread. Even if these bread varieties are quite beneficial to your health, you should be cautious about other bad foods and beverages that pass for healthy alternatives. Watch. Unhealthy foods that should never be in your kitchen or learn about drinks that are surprisingly unhealthy and you should not drink to gain further insight into the topic at hand. These two films will undoubtedly assist you in choosing foods that are genuinely beneficial to your health. Choose one of the videos, or watch them both for the most effects. Which bread is your favorite? Is it bad for you or good? Tell us in the space provided for comments below.